what the church has said is that in God there is one essence, but three subsistences. Right? There are three personae, that is, who stand under the essence. They're part of the essence. They are, they are all of the same essence, but we are making a distinction that I said before that is not essential. There's not an essential difference between the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit because all three have the essence of deity. Nevertheless, there are true, peculiar attributes of each of the member of the Godhead that by which we distinguish one from another. We say the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God, but we don't say that the Father is the Son and the Son is the Holy Spirit or that the Holy Spirit is the Father. We don't do that because we make these real distinctions, they are real, but they do not disturb the essence of deity. So the distinctions within the Godhead are, if you will, sub-distinctions within the essence, sub-points within the singular being of God. One essence, three subsistences. And that's really about as close as we can get to articulating uh, the historic doctrine of the Trinity.